unmute myself because so people so the people who are watching can actually hear me that come comes in here hello everybody welcome to bears and dragons bear podcast uh, where a bunch of us nerdy ass, nerdy ass podcast nerdy ass bears sit around and play dungeons and dragons we play dungeons and dragons now we can actually see him say it now because somebody got a fancy new camera and now has a fancy new astral background like mine Two hundred dollar camera I got pretty? for hundred bucks. Isn't it pretty? A little <laughs> demon gorgon. Until it's trying to eat our face. Anyway, back to to out of the best. Uh, pre- previously on uh, Bears and Dragons, out of the best. Um, well, what happened last time? We raided a tomb. Lasseter got really upset about that, even though it was what we were hired for, and he got a nice amulet out of it. He killed the puppy again? <laughs> oh, did you guys hear that? <laughs> I heard that. Did Lasseter <laughs> hear that? <laughs> Thank you, Statler. Uh, I'm figuring that uh, uh, Roderick's Waldorf. Statler and Waldorf. Muppets. Anybody? (laughs) Statler and Waldorf from the Muppet Show? They're in the balcony and they shout, heck, oh, yeah, yeah. I never knew their names. Statler and Waldorf. I knew knew of them, I just never knew their names. Yeah, they were a cute old couple. Yeah. I'm not sure if anybody actually ever deemed it to, to possibly have been that they were a couple, but... We all know. We all know. Well, it's like Ernie and Bert, right? Yep. Yeah. They, they've got to be. It... it they were created around that time where pe- where where uh, couples would have their own separate twin beds, you know. Repeat their names one more time. That learned Waldorf or Bert and Ernie. Yes, both are Muppets. They raided a tomb, got some shinies. But got a nice met- sword. You had met the vendor. <laughs> and what did the vendor say? Um, in re- exchange for the amulet, um, they wanted like we wanted they wanted us to raid the tomb because anybody who came to raid the tomb never came back. Um, and in exchange for the stuff, like we keep all the gold, but they wanted any of the items that we found, and we found some really nice items that we we probably aren't going to give up. Uh, but that also some means they have to... your party just uh, you know what we lost them in the tomb but here's what we did find <laughs> yeah <laughs> cuz yeah what they don't know won't hurt them i mean if you use the items trying to get the grackle so it's fine but as long as you return them in there and good repair it'll be fine even if they're not so good, so good repair uh, well, I'm sure we'll be able to fix them up and make them all shiny again. It will be good. great. Why do I give them this accent when they're dwarves from the Underdark? I have no idea, but they're better, so this is what I give them. <sighs> I think I gave them some sort of uh, <laughs> Middle Eastern names, too. I totally forgot what their names were. I hope somebody wrote them down. The Rashad, then, that's something else I don't remember. I'm really bad. I to come up with names on the on the the, the fly and then totally forget to write them down for later reference. But in any case, uh, we're going back on the road. You know what I need to do? On need the road to... again. Need a creative man. We got our... Do we? Do we tell the rest of our group what we found? They don't need to know. I mean, you could if you want to. 
right now the only one who who came from Grackle Stug right now, well, is no longer with us. Somebody, I believe, uh, imploded his head. I think it was imploded. More as removed it. <laughs> yeah, just just one. <laughs> You tried to fuck with me, you and regretted it. You killed the poor. <laughs> I killed the poor murderer. murderer. <laughs> oh no! No, no, but but Pupito, but he killed the the poor, lost and hungry. Oh, uh, Pupito, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was trying to help him out and all, and did Pupito how to call me a little bitch? So I had to put him in his place. He took in the ground. Personally. What? He took that personally. I did. I was trying to bring that person some sustenance and all, and Bopito just did the actual opposite. He unlived him, and so I had to unalive Bopito. Uninstalled the life update. Mm -hmm. You said that last time he, they heard. Now, people have seen me gone ape shit before. I try to kit. I try to rip a, 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 a drow's face off. A little, a couple days back. Face. Oh. Just. I've, I've never actually what? seen that movie, Faisal. Dark. It was interesting. I remember. Uh, we had it on VHS. Okay. Oh, maybe I have it in my... So hopefully people learn not to fuck with me. It won't end nicely for them. Hey, um, not not my character, but at this point, do we know, uh, or at least suspect, uh, Roderick of being a vampire or something? Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Well, he's kind of told us that he. No one's gone and asked me character. what's going on with this. My. Features I just thought people could just do. I didn't know it was specifically just me that could do this and all, but... Well, we've literally watched you eat someone, so... <laughs> Attempt to. Attempt to. <laughs> yeah, I My... I think that's a pretty good sign. No, yeah, I never fully, like, rip... I tried to rip his face off. I mean... And still killed him. I mean, it's but just I didn't just rip... biting people. I mean... It could just be kind of... I guess... Cabbage. I guess the real question is, would our characters know of vampires? Uh... Hmm. But also, there's the thing, too. I'm not a vampire. I mean, if you ask him... Does he see... Ooh. What? Yeah, okay, cool. I mean, I, w I was just a common soldier. I don't know if I would. Know. I'm guessing vampires are commonplace. Well, I mean, throughout the Forgotten Realms, you, you could. I wouldn't necessarily say they're common. There could be a bunch of folklore about it. Yeah. Um, uh, vampiric people. Um. Some people could think of it as just uh, a monster from fairy tales. Um. I mean, we do know of, uh, it, players probably do know of the vampire, uh, uh, Strahd. But, uh, oh, vampire. Would they since he's in another realm? Yeah, they're, he's in Barovia, so. 
Yeah. He's in the uh, realm of dread. So it's like, would they know about him now? So. Yeah. So that's where I'm like, mm, because really, that's more of. Is let's see here. All right. I think I'm just gonna role play as um at some point during his service uh he heard like a uh, little stories from other uh soldiers but that's all they were just little stories rumors myths yeah. There you go. Ooh. That helps, actually. <laughs> One hex is 24 miles, just so everyone knows. The distance. 24 miles. Is it hex V and hex H? I'm not sure if that what that means. If we, if we get on like the upper dark, would we be able to see some type of light up above? Uh, I think it's just depth perception. But I would think or there might be in, some, like. How many? How 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 far below the surface you are? About four squares. Did I not save this right? I would think. I did not. Maybe right. naturally, like some natural formations of stuff, I like in the upper dark. Before. Would uh, there be some openings and stuff, like from? Sinkins and all that kind of stuff, but no. Like, they're probably be one of those kinds that you can see far away, but they're inaccessible. Yeah, that is good. Still same feet. But it's showing four hexes, so we can still go off of that. Twenty-four miles. Dave. There we go. Look. Twenty-four miles. Dave. No, it's doing it now. Okay. If you look at my um or uh, Yeah, ninety five miles to go, people. <laughs> That's good if we go straight through the lake. Really? Yeah, so it takes you a month to get from from Velkenvel Vel to Grackleduke. I mean, Sloopy Doop is a little lot closer, and then you could have gone from Sloopy Doop, Grackleduke, across Dark Lake. You're kind of halfway there, so it's kind of like, yeah, I might as well keep going this way. Right? Yeah. Exactly. The terrain probably had you, had originally had you guys going a little more this way. A little further out from the Dark Lake. But you met a peddler who sent you over to the shore of the Dark Lake. And as I said, uh, the path along the Dark Lake isn't continuously, it's not like a beach. Mm -hmm. So there's still winding paths where you have to kind of like go away, but it's 
eventually kind of winds around. So you do see the beach at, at times, but sometimes you're at a higher elevation, so you're looking above it, and it's a cliff wall, etc. So you're not always right next to the dark lake, but you're near it. All right. So you had uh, some some time at the tomb. Uh, took a long rest. Leveled up your level five, I believe we have. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're padding out. So, what sort of pace do you think you guys want to travel? Light speed. <laughs> yeah. I would say either faster or normal. We have the reason not to, so let's go fast. Pick up the pace, see if we can get a little bit further uh, closer to Gracklestug. Do anything before well, everybody. you or anything? Or... A nice little drop going. Alright. Uh, let's see. Who's going to start us off here? One, two, three, four. Alright. Lasseter, roll me a d20. No, no, no. Five. I feel like Lasseter always carries us through this part. <laughs> Uh, you end up traveling uh, near uh, a near the Dark Lake, and the, the Dark Lake is visible. It's kind of a beach, but there's a bunch of you see a bunch of floating lichen in the water, which is seems to glow. Um, there's uh, mush moss and mushrooms up above on some of the cave walls, walls that seem to give an eerie glow. You're able to make a, a good pace along the beach until you enter into some more caverns. I would like y'all to find a place to... Do you, do you want to do anything during the day first? <laughs> Provide you with opportunity. Because you guys are just, like, walking here. You'll I... see um, Roderick, like, every so often, so, like, in between stuff, like summon his um, astral form and kind of just practice with it because it's something even new to him. So he's just trying to get the feel for it. For it. I'm curious on how everyone think they got here or why. Got here by being ambushed, and they wanted slave work. Yeah, but like, how? Uh, I was probably just the wrong place, the wrong time. Yeah, I, I guess that's reasonable. Well, I was looking for my father. I was investigating his whereabouts when I was jumped. <clears throat> I think I was oh. passed out somewhere. Oh, you meant what we were doing? Yeah, pretty much. Oh! I was looking for some the person who killed everyone in my monastery. <laughs> so, grim. Yeah, this this person in like in all red, like I couldn't see their face or anything, but he and this, I guess that uh, I'm saying he, but I could have been a she. Don't want to judge anyone, um, but yeah, they uh, attacked my monastery uh, with this bandit of vile creatures and. To 
somehow they learned about the secrets of my mom's dairy and they wanted the things that are deep inside. I was trying to find that person and exact my revenge. What secrets? No, that's none of my business. Never mind. Exactly. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure I was just passed out drunk somewhere. They just scooped you along? Pretty much. Most likely. If If not, then I don't remember what I was doing at the time. And still, just every so often, you just see Roger just touch of mushrooms. Okay, fine. Uh, I'll bring up the question. Roger, what are you doing? What do you mean? Why do you keep on touching the mushrooms? <laughs> they eat. That's not how you. I eat. too would find myself curious. What? What do you mean? That's not. How, that's how uh, I eat. Uh, um. You just like touch and just absorb mushroom. Wait. Okay. So it, it's it's not it's like that, but not like that. Um. I I kind of um. Absorb their life force. And how did that start? It started after the attack on my monastery. Like, these creatures, like, one, like the creatures that were attacking, they looked like people, but they were just ripping into everyone's, like, they were just attacking viciously, like, they, like, they were hungry, you know, and, I, like, they attacked me too, and I, I thought I'd die, but, Obviously, I didn't, because here I am, but, and then ever since then, I've, I've kind of had this hunger, and I, I find when I can touch things and stuff and all, I can, I, I call it that, but I, I feel like I just absorb the electricity and all that is in the creature, and that satiates my hunger. You should see Lassiter backing up a bit as we're talking. I, I never do it to y'all. I, I accidentally did it to Gage, but I am very sorry about that when I try to wake you up. But normally I can control it and all, and it's just in the heat of the moment things were going on, and yeah, that kind of happened. Oh, that's what that was? It felt like yeah, it was that little late. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was just a little bit. I'm, I'm sorry. It was a little tasty, <laughs> but yeah. No harm. Like I, I've tried looking for answers and stuff, and the best thing I can guess is those creatures were some called vampires. But I'm not one. Like something happened, and I, like I'm kind of like halfway between. Like, a lot of the pros, but none of the cons, really, besides the hunger, which I can manage on my own. Shushar, uh, uh, the fish man, uh, comes up to you and says, May I? And he just reaches out a hand, it's like he wants to touch you. At your own risk. Uh, he he touches you. He just you you seem warm. Yeah. From from my knowledge, aren't vampires undead? They're cold. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Like I I'm I'm like 
I'm not fully a vampire and fully dead, but I'm not a normal person. So it's like I'm kind of an amalgamation of the two. A half read, for lack of a better term. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't like that term and all, but it's okay if you say Again, it. lack of a better term. It might be a better term, I just don't know it. But I, I swear, just so y'all know, I swear to do my utmost best to turn that hunger on other things besides y'all. I've been doing very well so far. Mostly. Little mushroom, but, little mushroom tugs at your leg. I trust you. Yeah. But if he eats mushrooms, then... Oh god, no. <laughs> no, 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 it's not the, it's just, there's an abundance of these mushrooms around here and all. So I just siphon off a little bit of stuff here and there to satiate my hunger and all. I don't kill anything. It's Except just... Except for Pupito? He had that comment. Hmm. Okay. First funny. off, he... First off, he like I was he killed someone that I was trying to help get back to full force and all, and then he attacked me at first too. So when I went after him, he attacked me, and so then I just yeah, it was self defense. Besides, exactly. uh, he kept him around. He could have escaped. He could he could have killed somebody else. This was for safety, says Jim Jar. At the point that we were. He he was kind of not fighting us, so I don't think that counts as self defense. Yeah, something tells me the the guy had it had it in him. I felt for our group's safety that at that time, with how he was acting and all, it was the best to unalive him. <laughs> we could have. Tied him up or something. <laughs> it's, it's unalive appropriate because that would intend unalive sounds like they're still kind of alive, so they would be more like kind of being undead, and that's still not so good. This is me trying to do my fish talk voice, but it didn't work very well. <laughs> well, okay, I killed him. Like, I didn't want to say kill, that's why I was just saying unalive, but I understand that there's the un undead portion of everything off here and all. So, we'll figure out some terms for this. But, it's, I felt for our group's safety, if we tied him up or something, or anything, there, there is a possibility of him escaping and then murdering us all because he thought he was some god incarnate. So, it just was better for the group. I take full responsibility for his death. Forgot strokes his 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 chin and says, "It was probably for the best." In any case, we should continue on so we can reach the surface. I'm sure Rontia is impatient, and plus, I need to get back to my people and find a way to to cure this polymorph spell that's been put on me. I need to find that person and pray it. Okay. Uh, I heard polymorph spell, but uh. Well, I'm he's a Ki a Quigoth, and he claims that he's an elf. Claims he's a what? He's a Quigoth, and he's, he claims that he's an elf. Ah. That's been polymorphed into a Quigoth. Quigoth. He's not he's really Quigoth. He's an elf, or at least that's what he thinks. Okay. Um. Uh, what's his name? Uh, he refers to himself as Prince Darendel. My prince. Uh, do you know what time this is? Do I know what time this is? It's hard to tell in the dark. But not the, from here. I mean the the date, the year, whatever. Year. I don't. I don't know what we would. Preferred as. No, it would be 
The air horn. <laughs> I think there it is. Why, why it's fourteen eighty five DR? Is that the actual here? Yes. Okay. I was yeah, trying I to check. check his uh his uh mental date or whatever. And also asked her with that insight, I was being truthful. Oh, okay. Just so you know. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll be. Should uh, are we trying to find somewhere to sleep or what? Uh, as the day goes on, you finish your chats and your few breaks, and then you're finding a place where. Everybody seems to be getting a little tired. Stool is kind of like we just kind of like waddling along. Yeah. <laughs> um. Anyone see a good place to nap? I hope I do. Some survival checks. Uh, do do. <laughs> Survival. Unnatural 20. We definitely find some places. A place. Yeah. Uh, looking around uh, to, to find a good place, you do find a, a cave. It's not that hidden necessarily, but... Uh, as long as there's no light coming out of it, it can be, it seems to be hidden by the shadows around it. Uh, the entrance is not illuminated as well from the outside. Uh, but there is a slight curve that goes into a deeper cave. Kill yourself, something. And you're able to find a place to... Awesome. Uh, first watch, anyone? I'll take it. I, I kind of have a little energy in myself still. I'm not quite tired and all, so do it. All right. Uh, don't forget, we need two people on watch at a time. Why? You can have, you can have, uh, Sova stay up with you the whole time. Oh, for all wait, of us. We, the reason why we thought of that was because Bupito killed someone and we didn't know who it was. So, I guess, I don't know. Never mind. Well, you can still have Silva stay up with everybody. She can help. I mean, she doesn't need to sleep, so. Who? My owl. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Hint, she has advantage on perceptions. <laughs> <laughs> you can see well in the dark, too. Mm -hmm. Well, if that's the case, um, I'll set up my uh, sleeping bag or whatever, knapsack, I don't know, and go to sleep. Stool's gonna cur curl up next to Laster. Uh -huh. Eldith actually says, ah, I'm not quite tired yet. I'll stay with, up with you for a while, Roderick. The more the merrier. Yeah. Little Borkad curls up on Lassiter's head again. Just, you, you know, like like when you're 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 sleeping, you got your head on the pillow, and then like a cat like curls up like right on top of your head top of your head. Not on top of you, but like right next to it. Got a little mushroom man uh uh curled up on one side of you and pseudo dragon curled up on your head. Ronk kind of passes passes out. Arendelle 
carefully finds a good spot and kind of does a, like a little uh, swirl around and kind of like curls up like a dog. And Joe goes, watches it is like, for an elf, he sleeps kind of funny. I don't think he's really an elf. I think he's a little deluded. What do you think? You think? People around here are strange. I just want to get back to Blinden Zone. Don't you too? Uh, Topsy, he looks over at Topsy and Terry. He's, uh, no, it's fine. No, no, I mean, if we're Jackal Stug, it's perfectly fine. I mean, it's a long way back home. But we're just going a long way. I'm not in. You know, they're just having this kind of like back and forth. Please, it's just. You can tell that apparently they kind of don't want to go back to Blingdon Stone. You're just like, so weird. Anyways, hope you get some shit eye. Ron passes out. Uh, Sarath um, carefully lays out a better roll. And uh, falls asleep. For Shushar. Shushar does a similar thing to, to Daredell, except he doesn't do the spinny thing. He just kind of curls up in a corner. All right, now it's just Roderick and Eldith. Go ahead and give me a perception check. Uh, go, ahead, go ahead and just do it with advantage. Okay. Eldith is helping you. <laughs> Both tens. Nice. And still 24. <laughs> it, it rolled them together. Oh, so 14. Yeah. There. At about two hours in, Eldith is sitting there going. Uh, I think it's time for me to hit the sack. Are you going to be able to stay for a while longer or should I get somebody else? Uh, I, I should get properly rested, so I should, we should find another person. Okay, who's going to take second watch? I'll do it, Sarah. Um, and Elveth comes over and says, Sarah, your turn. Oh, oh very well. Did anything happen? Uh, nope, it was quite quiet. All right, no. I'll call Sova over to my shoulder. Come on, Silva. It's our turn now. And after waking you up, she just kind of like rolls over to the side and just passes out. Go ahead and uh, give me a perception check. Or for either both of you in Silva or for one of you can do it at advantage. Here's for so here's for Syra, not one. Awesome. It's really dark, and apparently. Here's for Sova with advantage because she sees Ow. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So sixteen for her. And your watch passes by uneventful. Third watch. Okay. There's no volunteers for third watch. You can wake up one of the other ones. I'll take third watch. Okay. All right. I'll come over and wake you up and report that nothing was seen by either one of us. 
All right, sounds good. Get up and begin watch. A little mushroom comes up next to you. Shakes his head. Had some spores shoot out, and you can't help but uh, inhale them. You hear in your head, head, couldn't sleep. I'll stay up with you. And it's stool. Hello, stool. How goes it for you tonight? Oh, I was tired, but couldn't sleep. Something plaguing you? No, I think I just miss home. Uh, don't know where little one be. We're almost there. I think it's still a bit far away. But <laughs> we're getting closer. <laughs> yes, that's the spirit. Look towards your goal with positivity. It'd be interesting to see this town we're going to. This... Grackle Stew? Or are you talking about a different one? No, oh, you're talking about Grackle Stew. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think, I think like, um, like the, the, the Durker, the D Durkar? I think <laughs> they're, they're kind of like Eldith, except they're more like people down here. Indeed. A majority of this area is all new territory to me. I haven't spent much time down here at all. So, kind of look at this as a new adventure. My interest is just as peaked as yours. There are good people down here. So far, I begin to sense that, including people like you. Yeah. Although you are the first uh, sentient vegetable I've seen. Well, kind of looks at you funny. Uh, ah, thank it. you. <laughs> My people are friendly people. You'll see when you get there. Ah, so there, there will be more of you then, or more. Yeah, creatures. some of most a uh, bunch more of them taller than me. Oh, so you would consider yourself the runt of your people? So, I, I'm just a boy. Oh, yeah. No, just a boy. Just young. Well, hopefully you will grow just as tall and as strong as the others of your nation. Yeah, they're much oh. bigger and stronger. You see yourself as much of a warrior's tool. No. <laughs> no. What brings you on this adventure? How do you find yourself so far away from home? Well, I... I wandered a little too far away from mom and dad, and... Next thing I know, I got... All of a sudden, these drow came around and... Threw a net over me. Captured me and took me to the, the, the Welcome Wolf. I don't know. It's a weird name. Uh, I think I've heard a saying for something fitting like this. I believe it was Curiosity Killed the Hippogriff or something like that. What's a hippogriff. <laughs> um, it's better left unsaid. <laughs> But I see that you still show quite a bit of courage then, if you were able to wander this home. Well, Curiosity seems to take over. Well, I wasn't that far Evan. from from home. Oh, really? Then do the drow affect you guys quite often? I don't remember them doing it. Mm. But there must I, be some I'm, reason. Again, they... I'm young, so I haven't really asked anybody, so... If they do, I haven't seen anything before. Well, let's just hope for the most part they weren't trying to take you for food. No, I don't. don't I, I don't. 
I I don't think Drow think of making it. Okay. I mean, well, that is definitely fortunate. They would definitely know that we're probably not good food, anyways. Compared <laughs> to some other mushrooms that are around that aren't, well, smart. I'm not that smart. Hmm. I wonder what causes the difference in the sentience of your race as opposed to the regular mushrooms around this place. I don't know. I've never asked anybody about that. All I was doing was I was was born and here I am. But how old would you say that you are? He holds up his hand with his uh, uh, four fingers. Think about this many. <laughs> you are definitely quite adorable. You still yeah. got a lot of life left to live, little guy. I hope I live for for a while. I'm sure you will. We will see you back to your your people, and then you can live a more careful life, I guess you can say, than you have so far. I'll be happy to be back with my people. You have our word. We will get you there. Thank you. Anything else special with this watch? Well, Stool also says, says, you know, Sarah never talks. I don't know why. I, mm. I feel like I should be able to hear him, like, all the time because he's already got some spores in him. Maybe he just finds himself or herself a little more reserved. Kind of like me. I guess idle conversation and chatter like this isn't common for someone like me, especially being a weapon and all. Usually just used for other talents. Not much to speak about. Oh, Sometimes I... it takes someone like me to just crack the shell. I don't think of you as a weapon. I think of you as a person that's very talented at killing things. <laughs> Why? I guess that is a good way to look at it then, huh? <laughs> yeah. Why, thank you, Stu. I didn't think of anybody as an object that silly. It's the only purpose I know. <laughs> what? Alright. I guess well, I really have I think of it's me probably time it. for us to, to, to go to bed. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna take another nap. I think I could sleep for a little bit. Um maybe we should uh wake up Topsy and Turvy. Okay, sounds like a good idea. See, so the stool kind of like goes boop, 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 over to Topsy and Turvy, and and gives Turvy a, a little shake. <laughs> stool, hey, your turn. <laughs> it says, "Oh, uh, our turn." Or, uh, okay, um, Topsy, Topsy, yeah, our turn for watch. Uh, uh, okay, come on, let's go. Uh, and they stretch. They get up. Says, hey, I'm going to sleep. And they go take up positions near the entrance and just kind of kind of go on either side. And if you, as you're going to sleep, you hear them like whisper a conversation. And then everyone has their nice long rest and gets up. Uh, Topsy and Turby are nowhere to be seen. Oh. Uh, where did those little bugs go off to? Were they on watch? Mm -hmm. um, I'm asking this in per in uh, uh, uh in character. Yeah. Character. Sorry. Yeah. Um. Well. Um, should we look that for doesn't them? make any sense are there any kind of are there any kind of tracks or marks on the floor uh, give me a perception check or actually more of an investigation check 
call out their name while he's investigating. Topsy, Jerry. Uh, Roderick, uh, you do see two sets of footprints. Um, they seem to kind of like pace back and forth near the entrance. Uh, and then, then it looks like they left. It doesn't look like there was any sort of struggle or anything. I found some over here. It looks like they just up and left. Uh, did anyone say anything to them, or did they say anything to anyone before they? Nope. I just switched places with them on the watch with stool last night and went to sleep. They should have been the last ones up, unless there was someone who came after them. Duel. How does your spores work? They, they just allow me to talk to people. It's very limited range. It only lasts for a while. So, you, you can't communicate with neither one of them? No, they have to be relatively close. Like, he, like, runs about 30 feet away from you. This far. See, watch. I'm going to be talking. And it, everything is... It. So, like, it, it may be effective, but... He, like, walks in and out of range. <laughs> so, it's... Uh... A uh, what's the word? It's probably positive to say that they are not 30 feet from us. Right. Well, we can see that. Well, well and, and I, and you know, like, I have to come up to you and pray you with sports. And, and I can only do that, like, a few times a day. And, and it only lasts for, like, an hour. Oh, okay. That's also good to know. Uh, well, what do y'all want to do? Uh, Does it look like the tracks that I found like led off somewhere that we could like follow? Uh, they were relatively fresh. It's like from the first person that woke up, probably a half an hour to an hour before. Uh, so I could, we could follow them. Yeah, you can attempt to. Hmm? Last if we want, I trail. Can... Get him, boy! Get him! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It's wizards at they run away. I say we chase after and see what's going on. Here, here. <clears throat> All right. Lasher is on, on the trail, trying to find it and find them. Uh, you do are able to successfully uh, follow the tracks for a while, but suddenly the tracks change. They like, in... like all of a sudden, and it seems like it's as if somewhere between one step and the next. Their feet just completely change shape. Uh, I will do a detect magic. All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you don't really detect anything besides the magic, any magic items that are on your party. Uh, hey guys, did anyone, like, know them personally? Mm -hmm. 
I'm just gonna say, I yeah, it's the first time I met him was back in Velkenvelf. <sighs> I thought I knew a lot of the 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 Smurf Evelyn and and Blingdenstone, but uh, I don't remember those two. Uh, Are they somehow chained or were hiding some sort of transformation? Looks like they are. Are they just tail ups? Um. Hmm. Anybody who's trained in nature or arcana and roll a check to see if they can decipher what these footprints are of. Negative. Yay. Ooh, look at that. Syrah, this is a wear transformation. They were gnomes, and then they transferred into some wear creature. Based off of the shape, it looks more like a rat. It seems our traveling companions are all kinds of weird and strange creatures. They seem to have, there seem to be some sort of, I believe, a were rat. Where, Brad? That's interesting. Yeah. Maybe that's why they weren't interested in getting back to Bling and Stone. But the question is, were they always this way, or did this just happen to them? Uh, no. There, there have been some people who've been, become were rats of the, uh, the, the Bling and Stone uh, So, it, it's, it's happened before. Um... Normally, they end up getting cast out. Plus, they're usually not that great of a people. Usually, I thought Topsy and Turvy pretty on, uh, pretty on the. They pretty on the on up the and up. up. Yeah, I use that right. Exactly, Roderick. I mean, Word. don't get me wrong. I'm not one to necessarily be totally on the up and up, but hey, we're uh... each their own. Were people also one of those uh, dories? Hello. We told. Oh, werewolves and were bears, and you've heard of were tigers, but you've probably never seen a were tiger. But they're Hello. known. They're they're much okay. more common than vampires. <laughs> okay. Uh. Well. Uh. Uh, personally, I feel like um, that we should probably just forget about them, but I realized that some of you might... Uh, that was rude to say. Yes, and I apologize, but we're kind of out in the open, and we don't know these guys, so... Well, it's up to you guys. What do y'all want to do? Look, I know that they're probably not welcome blinked in stone, but as I said, they were up and, the up and up. I'm sure they had their reasons for wanting to lead the group. Maybe not wanting to actually go back to civilization because they were ashamed of being were rats or something. I mean, technically, we're not even close to blinked in stone where we are. Clinton Stone's all the way on the other side of the Dock Lake. It's actually much closer to Menzo Barazan than than where we are. We lost Gate. Oh no. Um, yeah. He was a wear rat too. <laughs> nah, he couldn't be he Gage is a wear rat. I've seen a shadow come out of him. That's something completely different. That's a hocus pocus shit. Um. Well, uh, you you're right. If if they left, they left for a reason, and they are their own people. 
So if they decide not to be with us anymore, it sucks. Yay! We good? Okay. Welcome sorry, back. Disconnect. Well, I just if, conversation. Yeah, if they decide that they don't want to be with us no more, that's their choice. I wish they wouldn't have just run off. Cause that that that's disconcerting. But they are they do have their own choices. Sorry, you feel a tug on your pant leg. Who? Syra. Ah. Uh. Yes. And she look, look, and looks down. And she will assess you. What's a wear rat? Well, it's a person who is, well, a half person and half, well, a monstrous rat. I'm not sure if I've seen a rat before. I'm going to miss them. So kind of. So I kind of get down on one, on like one knee, and like they have big sharp teeth, and they go and bite you. Well, I hope they never actually do that. Do you think they would actually do that if they did turn into that? What if Most likely. What if they're in trouble? We should find them. Well, what say you, gents and lady? Yes, it like um, they from the tracks how they look. They went free willingly, like to do what they were doing. There was no; they didn't look like any signs of distress. So they probably they they did this of their own will, and we should respect that. They know where we're going. If they're so inclined to join us back, they know we're going to Grackleskoog. Man, it, I mean, they're from around here. They kind of are my kin, you know? They can survive down here. And, hey, I bet you anything. Hey, Stool, I bet you anything. That being where we're at, they're actually probably better, better at surviving down here than we are. Especially on our own. Really? Yeah, see, we rats, they might be kind of like monstrous creatures and stuff, but you know what? Stronger. They can definitely make sure that they are safer. They may just be going away from us to keep us safe. Because they don't know. Maybe if they get that transformation, maybe they can't control themselves in it. If it's getting to that point where they can't control themselves, maybe they ran away. Get away from us in order to make sure that we don't get hurt. So they're mm -hmm. thinking not mm -hmm. just of, not of themselves, but of us. So, as soon as you say that, Sarah starts chucking herself for bites and, and scratches. Being her do that, I do the same. <laughs> All right. Uh, Suddenly, I feel so itchy. G g give me investigation checks, both of you. <laughs> oh, uh, I will tell you this: the DC is not that hard because you're you're investigating yourself. <laughs> <laughs> In public, there is absolutely <laughs> no signs of any bite marks or scratches or anything like that. Well, yeah, you, do, you do see some like bites, that. but it looks like maybe like a, a mosquito bite sort of thing. <laughs> no, no, nothing that would indicate you. that you would have been affected by uh, like, like a zombie. Be... You got me all paranoid. <laughs> Not no where no where rat bites, but I have West Nile now. <laughs> or, 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 or West Dark Lake. <laughs> so I think. The uh, decision is to just keep on going, and if they want to get back with us, they know where we're going. I agree. We should we should keep on going. 
All right. All right, you're near the Dark Lake, so you know where you came from, and so you know that you just need to keep going in the same direction. Dark Lake being that nice central point to give you direction in this dark, dark land. Who's our guide at the moment? Um, right now your guide is the Dark Lake. <laughs> You know, just you, you were told by, I believe his name was Rashad, uh, to go to, the, he pointed you to the Dark Lake and says, once you get to the Dark Lake, take a right, you get to the tomb, then all you need to do is continue towards the left at the Dark Lake to get to Grackle Stoop. So you went to the tomb, then you backtracked, and then just kept going along the lake lakeside. Again, you do end up like veering off from the shore, and sometimes you lose sight of the Dark Lake, but you still have the same idea of location. Usually, you end up winding back next near the Dark Lake, so you at least have that that point or that fixed thing to keep you going in the same direction. You know, know to have the Dark Lake on your right. Basically, as long as you have that there. You know which direction you're doing. Okay, and I probably asked this already, but what's in Grackle's dude? The uh, um, Dark Dwarfs. Is the Underdark City of the Dorgar. And why are we going there? Well, we're trying to get to Neverlight -like Grove. So, from what we understand is if we follow this, we'll Gracklestug on our way to Neverlight Grove, which is north of Gracklestug. And right now we are at the south of Dark Lake. That's how I know where north is, because that's where the Dark Lake is. We'll wander around it. Eventually the Dark Lake which will still be on our right, but will be to more will be more of the east. Technically northeast because it's kind of at this angle here where it's kind of going from the, where Gracklestug is kind of on the southeast, the southwest of the the lake. Sloop a doop. Uh, from my understanding, Shusha will be able to tell you is more on the the north uh, eastern, and then you've got the uh, uh, Mental Dareths. It's uh, the city thing where there's a trading post and everything. That's more on the the absolute north of. Of Dark Lake, if you kind of go in at the, like, yeah. What he said. Okay. Blinden Stone is is just a stone's throw away from Menzo Dareth. But if you go the wrong direction, you're going to run into Menzo Barazan, which I will tell you, you do not want to do. I'll take your word for it. But we need to take the, take this little one's stool home, right? Start with the one who's, you know, quite defenseless. Right, Rot? Mm. As long as we get to the service. That is, that is my goal. goal as well, says a weird... Comes a weird voice from a Quagoth. Sarath. Netherlight Grove is just... It's, it is that way. We just need to go around the Dark Lake. I know exactly where it is. Um, okay. So, while we're traveling, I'd like to ask, uh, Ferris, I think? Yeah. If he knows anything about the, uh, lady that we had, uh, had to talk to in the beginning, um, and, uh, draw <laughs> Draw lady? I don't know. Yeah. You it was like golf? a... You been in here? I think so. Uh, it, it was like a boss lady that, um, the goons took us to to talk to. 
Hold on. You look up the Am I remembering here. something wrong? Nope. Something? Nope. Okay. I just need to find the information of her. Ah, Ivara Mizrim. She is a priestess of love for her house. She was she was the essentially the leader of Lurkenveld. Does she have any power anywhere else? Uh, I'm... Prob probably not. Her house may. But she I'm... is not the matron of her house. What's her house? Miserum. Say that one more time. Miserum. Miserum. Let me, let me okay. actually put the name. Let me take it right away. Yeah, basically their last name is their house. So that's her name. I'm not here. Here. What I know. Yes, I all right. I believe House Miserum is a house known for its long histories, Davis. Oh, she was set up as a, a. She was set up as an as being the leader of that outpost. Can you hear me? Okay. Um. <laughs> well, that's pretty much all I wanted to know. I, I just wanted to uh, know if we had to worry about coming in contact with her again. Oh, yes, probably. Thanks. Oh. I mean, we were her, her captives. She would, it would be a shame on her. If she had let some captives be escaped. Can you hear me? She probably has people following us right now. Okay. I'm talking to you the whole time. You must be stay, staying ahead of them, though. Oh. Oh. Okay. But where I want to go, never like Grove. We are getting closer. Yeah. Yes, my friend, we are getting closer. Well, then let's make haste. <sighs> yeah, Bo. Let's go. Fast face again? Yep. Well, yeah, we play that by daylight. Alright. Hold on. We are. What'd you say? I'm sorry. Another fast pace for the day. Like, so I'm coming to your trail at all? When you cover. By the way, Dustin, we can hear Josh stuff. really well. So, like, for Fortnite, it was blaring <laughs> up. Right? They're trying to cover the trail. All right. And what was. Oh, we have not had a roll. Cyra, give me a, a D20 roll. There's been comments made. I'm just letting you know. Not on that one. What am I supposed to do? We're in the same room. Shut up and not be in a party? No, no, but you can tone it down a little bit. I just was talking to Crimson right. about how the music was really loud and they couldn't hear him. So the music being loud Perfect. and me trying to talk over the music is why I was loud. I understand. I'm just letting you know what Wynn told me, okay? <laughs> All right, well, sorry. All right. That's all I can say is sorry. I understand it. I'm not trying to be like, it's. I'm just letting you know I'm sorry. So, That's all I can say. Uh, you I guys make some really good pace. Uh, 
think you probably have have caught up to quite a bit. Uh, Sarah looks back, looks up to towards the lake uh, in. Thinks you've gotten. I think we've gotten much closer today. This is great. How we find a place to rest? Who is this talking? Earth. Okay. We are much closer. No worries, Joel. Can I insight Very this close. guy? Just in general, he just creeps me out, kind of. <laughs> sure. You want to? Like, not inciting what he's saying or anything. Mm -hmm. Just. Yeah, no, no, go ahead. Bye. Nine. He 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 seems a little off. Uh, he he seems like he's off somehow. You're not sure, quite sure. Smiles kind of creepy. Yeah, you know why? It's a little creepy. Okay. Um. Yeah. This. We we should probably look for somewhere to camp again. And let's get some survival checks to see what type of cow find. I did it in You know, the shore looks like a great place to camp. Just right out here on the shore. Oh Just right in the water. This is Just perfect. In the of the <laughs> I mean, this is a great <laughs> beach. It's a wonderful place to camp. Just put some meat on us and just go right into the lake. Hold on. Okay, common let, let, sense. Let me, would... let me throw in a little help there. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All this is like, oh, no, folks, this is a, a terrible, terrible place to camp. Uh, I think I spotted a, a cave over here. Thank you, Elvis. And it is the perfectly disguised. You remember this uh, similar locale before where there was like this a bunch of uh, different type of mushrooms and barrel stocks. It's almost like a, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, a Zirkwood forest, practically like a little Zirkwood grove. And in this, just this perfect location, it's not a very big entrance, uh, but it's easy enough to, to walk into but it is very, very hidden. There's no illumination around it. It's just got these Zirkwood mushrooms just scattered different sizes. And then you just have to find the right path to get into it. Um, any passerby, even if they're actively looking, unless they were really, really looking, they probably wouldn't see this cave. So they would have to kind of look past some of the Zirkwood um, mushrooms. Seems like we'll be safe here. Nice spine, Elvis. Oh, please, won't you just just take my advice and never ever sleep directly on the dark lake. I mean, note it. What, what kind of creatures are there? Oh, I don't know. All I know is. This is the Underdark, and everything's trying to kill you. It's called the Dark Lake. That means it's my not him. It's respect for them. Well, maybe, maybe tonight we should make sure to stay close to one another. It seems like we keep losing people left and right. So it doesn't really matter, and that would definitely protect me. Uh. Um, who's who's keeping watch? First watch. Oh, Sarah. Sarah will take first watch. Go ahead. And As usual. Yes. My perception. And silver. Look at him. 
Um, at some point during the night, I'd like to, uh, oof. Oh. So, 18 and 20. Excellent. Well, Asher, you wanted to do something? Uh, I'd like to, like, just take Sarah aside for, like, a chat. Okay. But so we'll assume this is before everybody goes to sleep, yeah. yeah. Yes? Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. You seem a bit, uh... uh Un, undisrespectful. Off? No. Um. I mean, how so? I don't I know. I don't understand. You. You just seem out of it sometimes, and I'm just trying to make sure that everyone in the group is of I mean, sound mind. I admit, mean, I'm kind of a shy person. Um. I'm inside. Not much of a talker. Insight. <laughs> yeah, it seems pretty I'm, pretty I'm gonna forward. use my. I mean, he, he, for everything. Yeah, go ahead. Um, Sixteen. I mean, he's telling the truth. Uh, the first time you met him and everything, he, he never was a talkative person. Um, you you do, you have incited. You have noticed oh. that he has uh, a little bit more. He's always been wanting to go in the Dever Light Grove. Over stool. So maybe that's his, his reasons. And he, but he did mention at one point in time that he knows exactly where Neverlight Grove is. He what? He knows exactly where Neverlight Grove is. But nowhere else. He just knows where Neverlight is. Yeah, he could take you directly there. Okay. Right up. Okay. Uh, well, like, I'm, I'm as sorry. you moved along, if you you asked him, "Hey, which direct, which direction is Never Light Gro Grove?" He he points in a direction, and as you moved along the dark lake, it's kind of moved just slightly more to his right. As you've been going along. Well, I am sorry for um, possibly disrespecting you or whatever. Um. I'm, I, I, as I said, I'm just trying to make sure everyone is okay. I am perfectly fine. I'm excited to get Stool home. I've never been to Le Never Light Grove. I really want to go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Out of character, I, I really feel like we should kill this guy, but <laughs> I don't have a reason yet. Damn, it's like that. <laughs> as far as you're aware, he just wants to get to Neverlight Grove. He says that he wants to help get stu help get Stool home. He just your destination, didn't... your final destination at this moment, is he just Neverlight constantly... Grove. Sending out this vibe of like, you should probably kill me before we get to this place. <laughs> okay. Um, nice I mean, chat. have you been to Neverlight Grove? Do you know what's there? No. It's just, it's just really. As far as you're aware, it's the home of the Mykonids. That's why I still wants to go there. Wants to go home. Nice this is chat, drow, buddy. So. Drow wanted to go to Neverlight Grove. Uh, why? I don't know. Mm. He just really wants to go. Um. Uh, for the rest of the night, I'll just like, you know, casually check up on everyone and 
see how they're doing mentally and go to sleep. Uh, you end up having probably an hour chat, philosophical chat with Shushar, the Awakened. Uh, as he talks about philosophy. Is that the fish guy? Yeah. <laughs> it's the Kuito. <laughs> he seems to be a very wise fish. It's hilarious. Ron just grunts. <laughs> He, he, he's always kind of been in a somber mood, just like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> just get me home. Huh? I gotta follow you, because you guys seem no more where you're going than I would. <laughs> he's just using all you just to get find a good place to get out of here. Understandable. Uh, Darendel is a little more accommodating. Very nice. Um, very elvish. Despite the fact that he looks like a giant hairy beast. What about our uh, PCs? How are y'all doing mentally? Getting tired of the constant dark. Yeah, I like a little different change of scenery. Same thing over and over. The Syra? That was me. Uh, I said I was getting getting sick of the dark. Oh wow! Okay. Uh, <laughs> then Gage. Uh -oh. Yeah, just bringing his broom. Yes, Lassiter. Um, I, I was uh, asking about your mental state. I guess like, you can consider me stable. Would you consider yourself stable? I would consider myself stable. Wow, so much like a psychologist. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> consider you not stable, but stable. <laughs> Stably not stable. <laughs> hey, Lee flips her hair. Been like, <sighs> Understood. I just need some sunlight. Yeah, how, so many things like the... change our good berries. <laughs> Make them taste like something else. I need real food, damn it. If it's like, like, well, I, I like the good berries. They come in handy. They are pretty good. I didn't think of the other NPCs or PCs that are just not available at the moment. All right, nappy, nappy time. All right, so someone else. Syra has her has her watch. Everybody goes to bed. Uh, Syra has her watch, uh, and nothing out of the ordinary happens. It seems being in this nice secluded location, hidden from the rest of the Underdark, seems to be very pretty safe. All right, second watch. Take it. Sarah wakes up, Roderick. <laughs> Nothing to report. And during the evening. Seems all is quiet. Hear some distant waves on the shore. Be right back here and hit the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And who will take the next watch?
Let's say that Haley takes the next one. Bullet paper. Character sheets. Firewatch. Hey, oh. oh, there we are. I'll, uh... Here we go. Oh, okay, never mind. Personal question. Damn it, Holly. Wanna have a uh, 1d4 streaker? Hey, one, yes. What's a session without a little bit of calm, I add? Well, especially when you're all asleep. So, Sally is um, uh, keeping uh, keeping watch. Um, she's sitting there and she notices some movement um, outside of the little Zerkwood area. She can't quite see anything, so she moves out to take a look to, to see what this movement is. And uh, as she she's moving... She uh, notices something weird about one of the mushrooms, which is, it, it seems to have just been waving. So she goes to investigate. Then all of a sudden, there's this loud shriek. How'd it go? <laughs> that again <laughs> everybody wakes up Damn Haley is dear lord hey, Haley uh, uh, cover, is covering her ears and she kind of runs back to the cave and as she's running back the shrieking stops but everybody is now awake Jesus Haley uh, it. I, I thought I saw something, and and I went to to look, and all of a sudden I came close to the. It was just the mushroom. 
Doesn't seem like no mushroom now. The Underdark. <laughs> Stool, is this one of your your friends? Uh, no. Is that racist? That's called a shrieker. <laughs> yes. That, that's like <laughs> that's like a mushroom. Like it, uh, he could probably turn it. Roger could probably it, turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> So, Roderick, Roderick, do you go to turn it off? I rush up to it and just, like, put my hands on it. It's, it's, it's screaming. You put your hand on it. Mm, delicious. It stops uh. Actually, actually, roll me, roll me an unarmed strike. Just the damage. You hit it. <laughs> Standing still. Okay. It's tricky for a little think. while longer. Uh, go ahead and do another one. So you're holding it there and it's shrieking. It's loud. And uh, finally it stops shrieking and it withers away. When you say loud, how loud do you I'll be like a fire alarm. Loud. When when a bright light or a creature is within thirty feet of the shrieker, it emits a shriek audible a shriek audible within three hundred feet of it. Oh. The shrieker continues to shriek until the disturbance moves out of range. And for one d four of the <laughs> the shrieker's turns afterwards. Um. Well, I'm gonna know, do a guy. perception. To see if there's anything like rushing towards us. Me too. Same. I hear nothing. <laughs> I'm still deaf by the shrieking. I got like I'm like full. I got that adrenaline pump in. It's just like, what is going on? Everybody's what? wide awake. I just ate, so like I'm good. Is everyone present? Everyone's present. Okay. Everyone's present in the counter for. Some of Jim Jar is like scratching his ear, being like, ow. It's okay. We we took care of it. Uh we can all go back to sleep. Haley is like even if I see something I'm just going to stay here yeah good idea I'll finish my walk who, who wants to take the next one I'll give you another like half hour or something like that uh, I'll I'll take watch I'll wake you up in about an hour have you done it already <laughs> Uh, that was... Not today. Okay, just making sure. Uh, Haley's the rest of Haley's watch uh, goes by without a hitch. Blaster, you are feeling wet and. Uh, uh, kind of nudge you. Just it's just the little damp. All right, that shaker kind of let my adrenaline rush. Sorry about that. And she'll so, go to sleep you while you go like, perceive you everything. <laughs> now roll me a d twenty because you're perceiving everything. You're gonna tell me what you see or don't see. All right. Crap. Open up another tab. What is Stool dreaming about? Uh, I don't know. Can you can you uh, read his mind? Uh, 
I mean, I, I, I can see everything, so, you know. You can't see, well, you can't, like, it's not true sight see everything. I, I know. <laughs> You're not that crazy. All right, I need you to roll me a D20, another D20. I don't like all these rolls when. Okay. Cool. Gets my paranoia up. Good to know. Now I need you to roll me a D4. God, Jesus. Okay. Now roll me a D100. Man, you're, you're just doing this just to, like... You see well. everything, so you're telling me what you see. What does he see 95 of? <laughs> Rocks? Fungus. Fungi. A <laughs> hundred <of> sheep shakers. <laughs> uh, for some reason, you hear some. <laughs> That's what I hear. <laughs> and it just seems to be moving along. That's what I hear. Yeah, you hear it. You don't. You can't see the source of it. Jesus. I mean, there's a bunch uh, of zerk wood in the way. I mean, you could go out and investigate it if you want to, but fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> Water. You know, you know what? Zerk wood. <laughs> I will poke my head out of the cave. You, you hear, hear, hear whatever this voice is say something else and then just burst out laughing. And I don't see anyone or uh, anything. It, 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 see, it, the cave entrance was kind of behind a bunch of Zerkwood mushrooms. So in order to really see anything, you would have to kind of like move around peek around one of these Zerkwood trees. I will Zirkwood stealthily stops. try to peek. Okay, roll me a stealth check. Plus one. Oh, God. Eleven. Right. Let me take a look at some. Wait a minute. Okay. So you 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 go and you kind of like peek around one of the Zerkwood stocks stocks and you see this ragged deep gnome laughing his head off. Uh you see uh that he's missing part of his arm. Uh and you see some blood dripping from it. Uh, and he's just laughing hysterically, and he's he's swinging his head around, and he looks like ah, human. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> and he goes walking towards the lake. I watch him as he walks towards the lake. Yeah, he goes in the lake. He it's goes into, into the, the lake. lake. He disappears under the surface of the lake. Uh, you see some bubbles. <laughs> I feel like I should have helped him, but see this. I don't. I don't know. Uh, 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 you wait a few minutes, and then this see this body kind of float down. Away. I'll turn back around and I would like you to roll me down. I would like you to roll me a wisdom save. Wisdom save? Yes, please. Uh -oh. 
unnatural 20. Okay, you're fine. Oh. Uh, so I just go back and sit on a rock or floor, and I... What weapon do I have? I At least you didn't ask for a dog. <laughs> Can we stop ringing this up? Um, no. And I, I, I sit and take my mace out and just, just clench it and stare at the entrance, waiting for time to go by. All right, fourth watch. I, is, I, is, I wake Grant up. Need to wake Grant. Uh, yeah. Um, I suppose I should. Uh, uh, yeah, big guy. Uh, uh, try not to fall asleep. Yeah. I, I thank you for your service. Right. He goes and takes this action. Sit at the entrance, oh, kind no. of like a hole. Did I just doom Warrant? There's one day left on, on retirement. Everybody oh, wakes up. Everybody wakes up in the morning. And so does Ront, who apparently fell asleep during his... Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> he, he's, he's, he's like sitting there cross-legged at the entrance. Got her like head on his... On, on his... <laughs> Uh, I'll I'll go shake him awake. Uh, fell asleep. You fell asleep, bud. Oh, I was tired. Understandable. Um, tiredness gets to all of us. Try not try not to fall asleep next time, though. Yeah, everything's fine. Anything happen? Uh -oh. Did you hear any No, laughter? no, nothing. Nothing. It was fine. Everything was fine. I'm inciting the fuck out of that. Go ahead and incite. Sixteen? It's not something. I'm gonna need a sheet again. Uh what? Uh, he is trying to pretend that he was watching the entire time and he was totally awake. There was nothing that happened. So he, he, he was, he was watchful. He was diligent. He is lying through his fucking teeth. So. Good job, bud. You did good. Yeah. Here you going? Okay. To to get this straight, he was lying about actually staying up. Like, yeah, he he, he didn't fall asleep. What are you talking about? I mean, nothing okay, happened to anybody, I, so it, it it just nothing happened. I mean, it was just a very peaceful watch. He knows he was watching the entire time, so he knows nothing happened. All there was was Zirkwood and the splash of waves of the water and the beach ahead. Beach nearby. Okay. That's it. No other strange noises, strange things happening. It was perfectly fine. He was being perceptive the entire time. And okay. he's full of shit when he says that because he fell asleep. <laughs> All right, guys, what's on the agenda for today? No. Oh, by the way, there was this guy, a uh, gnome fella outside um, during my watch. He looked pretty beat up, um, and he was laughing hysterically. But... What? 
he walked into the lake and I guess drowned. So you don't got to worry about that. Um, is this what's her name? Um, Edith. Eldith? Is is this Eldith? Is uh, is this having to do with staying away from the water? I don't know. It's I can't he see in the water. I don't know what's in it. He was missing an arm. If that helps. I I don't know what's in there. I'm not from around here. More reason to stay away from it. Let's get Jim Jar will say, look, if you're going to talk uh, something about something that's down here, yeah, somebody has been down here and that's me. Uh, and when you're talking about the dark, like you probably want to talk to the Kuatoa here. There, hey, hey, Shusha. We're worried too much about what's in the lake. Uh, yes, and there are several different monsters that are in the lake. But I mean, our people can t- deal with them just fine. But for you, yeah, I, I really don't know. But from your description, it sounds like that this this deep dome must have gone mad somehow. If he he was severely hurt, he was laughing hysterically. I don't know about you, but if I was hurt, I probably wouldn't be laughing about it. Yeah, I I thought about helping him, but I don't know something in me just said stay away from him. He noticed me watching him. But he just laughed and walked into the lake and continued laughing as he was drowning. Yeah, that must have been a mad gnome. Will punch drunk a little too much. It hits with the snake. Look crazy. What happens when you eat too much shrooms? Well, it depends on the, the mushroom. I mean, we got a lot of different mushrooms down here. Don't don't ask me too much about them. I'm not much of a, a, a fungologist or whatever they call themselves. I could probably could identify what, what ones th- that are okay to eat and some what are not, but yeah, more information about that than uh, I probably won't be able to tell you. Well, but I mean, you create some water. We got the good berries from from my man Leaf here. It's well, fine. We don't have to worry about any of that. Right. We don't got to worry about him a good berry in his mouth. <laughs> oh yeah, but I do want to get the practical stug. I will tell you something. Look, no offense, Elder, but they got some great beer. I mean, have you been to the surface? No. So this is all I know. So it be may there may be some better on the surface, but all of a sudden, Eldith and and Jim Jim Jar are starting to like defend himself about uh, the fact that he's saying that the ale and grackle stew is really good, and and Eldith is trying to convince him that the dwarven ale that's on the surface is so much better than any shit, any of the swill that you get down here. And all he's doing is, look, I'm not saying that it, it that it's better than anything on the surface. And apparently, well, this is getting defensive about her, her, her uh, people's ale. Look, guys, um, when we get the chance to drink some ale from here i will drink it and i will let y'all know who's is better sounds like a plan to me and off you go <clears throat> look hey maybe look as you're walking along he's talking down with look how about this you want to go to the surface I don't really have any specific ties in here. I'd like my home of and stone, but why not come with you? We'll, uh, we'll go on a beer tour. We're we'll gonna have a nice beer crawl, celebrate your escape to the surface, and you can show me the pleasures of the 
of dwarven ale on the surface. Then she's starting to change her attitudes. Proud. I'm a little more proud. She starts talking about the different different ales that she's had had and some of the history of the uh uh beer wars uh in the various clans of dwarves on the surface. Do I do I see a ship coming in? Like from where? <laughs> Nothing. Never mind. Jim, Jim Jar and Elda seem to, to, to be the two that are more active of the group. Well, Stool kind of here and there. Be, being just the little... Well, he's baby. <laughs> <laughs> he's got plot armor. <laughs> or does he? The best kind of armor. Anyways, you're going off. All right. So, uh, let's see who did the 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 last one for for the last day. Clara, I think. All right. Okay. Gage, uh, roll me a uh, d twenty. Let's find out what happens or doesn't happen. Hey, draw me a d20. Damn it. Freaking muted. I'm sorry. That's all right. <laughs> roll me a d20. Let's see what, uh, what does or does not happen here. No, let's do this this time. Oh, yeah. I'm over here trying to look on. Roll yeah, roll 20. It's just going. It's a, ooh, here Jesus, fuck. You get a four! Okay, anybody want to do anything this day? <laughs> Travel fast. Fast face. Travel fast. <laughs> Sprinting. <laughs> Marathon running. All right, did, did you want to do a force march? Yes. What, what march? Uh, I will say you've traveled at a fast pace for the past few days. I think we should go at a normal pace. Okay. Probably. Yeah, right. And in fact, well, anybody who wants to can roll me an inside check. Well, inside. Well, zero. Ooh, Roger. That is another nat one. It's a <laughs> Despite being a cleric with a plus five to his wisdoms. That's hilarious. There you go. Noise. I mean, all the Sy plus three. Syra, Syra and, and Roderick, if you had any pursuers from Velcon Valve, you have successfully shaken them off. <laughs> So the only okay. reason to travel at a fast pace right now is just to get to Grackleskook faster. But you can travel at a slow pace, normal pace, however you want to. You can go at a uh, just a normal pace. Yeah. Okay. Um, during the march, I'd like to just check up on everyone, uh, in, in general sense. Like physical, mental, anything. Not for me. And we, we don't have to go into like detail. Yeah. I just. Stool wanna... just gives you a smile and kind of like, I'm fine. Uh, Runt does his normal mm. grunt. Uh, Shushar uh, says, I am well. Thank you. Um, it, basically, every, everybody seems to be. Okay, Eldith is is and Jim Jar are still having their their conversation about different ales, and just 
they they found some sort of common ground. Sarah just says that he's fine and looks and looks towards what you would assume to be the north. Uh, there and window graciously thanks you for for uh, your concern, but he is well and just excited to get to the surface. Haley, oh, Haley's Haley. Leaf is <laughs> Leaf. Everything, everybody seems to be fine. Oh, Leaf, never change. <laughs> I am a leaf in the wind. <laughs> hey, when, I don't think I ever asked that. Does Stool actually have like feet, or is he just rooted to the ground with mobility? Yeah, he, he's got feet. Okay. <laughs> it looks kind of like he has like this, this, like. Think of like Toad from Super Mario Brothers. Okay, he's got those little gastrodon nubs. Yeah, except more mushroom esque, right. you know. Yeah, not as humanoid, but he does have little arms and little feet, and little legs. He's 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 very short. After we're done with this campaign, I need to make it stool a, a mini <laughs> to add to my collection. I know, right? <laughs> As soon as I introduced Stool in the first time I started doing this, Stool was baby. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I love him. He's adorable. It's like, he has plot armor. Oh, yes. He has plot armor. Don't you even think about it. He has plot armor. <laughs> fucking do. Yeah, it's pretty much how it went. Uh, there are remember him back home and be like, yeah, so this hug. little guy is joining our adventure now. <laughs> He's going to go places. You know that. You he know just that wants to go home. That's all. He's a kind little soul. <laughs> all right, let's see. Let's see what the uh, place is like that you travel through today. Um, today, uh, you try to go at a normal pace, but you do get a little bit slowed down because you reach a point where there isn't any phosphorescent mushrooms, torches, and any other light sources must be used in order to tra traverse this because most of you are able to traverse it just fine because of dark vision, but there are a few of you who can't see shit in the dark. So, um, your travel pace ends up... Slowing down a little. But you do make progress. Just not as much progress as you would probably get. Um, I need survival checks. See if you can find a good place to settle down. Survival. And I will give the... the just in case boost from from Eldith at twenty. Uh you were able to find a uh, nice little tucked away cave. Not as good as the last place, but uh it's good enough. Easily defensible. And not obviously visible from from any place around it. All right, first watch. Uh, you take this one. Roderick will take first watch. Roderick, take first this time. I'll yep. go after you, Roger. Sounds good. I'll take third, I guess. I'll take last. All right. Uh, Roderick, um, you go set up. You take your watch. And a little Mycanid comes over and sits next to you. And tells you you can't, can't sleep right now. I'm going to stay up with you for a while. Sounds good. 
Oh, is the my don't never mind a bit of company. What did it do do you like taste anything? Not really. I just get the sense of fullness. No. Hey, so you Every once in a while, I'll, I will get a taste, like, depending on the... Well, okay, well, well, let me think on this. That is a diff... I guess, like, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It, it's all based on the person. Or the mushroom? Or the mushroom, yes. Um, Most of the... See, but that's the thing. That's when I don't, like, when I'm doing the stuff on the balls and stuff, I don't get much of a taste there. Um... But it like when I accidentally touch, like I try to wake up Gage, I got a little bit of uh, interesting taste from him. Um, so it all just depends. I think the um amount of life they have can sway the taste. That's interesting. It is. I wonder if you were captured, like, when you were captured, you could have just, like, anybody, when they try to, like, clap irons on you, as long as they touch your skin, you could just drain the life from them. It's like a defense mechanism. Kind of like some yeah. of our spores that we have. Although I don't really have that ability, I'm too young. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Some of those captors I did feed on, they didn't taste good. Yeah, they're probably, probably because they're evil. Although... You would think that it would probably be better if it tasted good if they were evil, because evil would be evil is bad. So the bad ones you want to want to hurt so that they would stop hurting anybody. So as long as they're evil and they taste good, then it gives you more of more of a a, a reason to suck their life from them. And then then if they don't be evil, maybe once they're good, then they don't taste as good because they're good people and you don't want to take the life from good people. Like, I bet I probably taste awful. I, I don't want you to try anything, actually. Oh, no, 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 I wouldn't. If care. you want to try a little bit. No, no, I'm good right now. I appreciate that is a very, that's very much food for thought. Okay. I wonder what it feels like. Not that I want you to feel, but I, I'm just curious. I understand. You're scary, but in a good way. I'll take that. All of a sudden, there's a mushroom that's that's snoring uh, against your leg. And your watch ends, and I believe Gage said he was going to take the next one. Yep. Indeed. <laughs> Go ahead and roll me a perception check. You get it. Uh, where Roderick was, was sitting, uh, the near where Roderick was sitting is still a little mushroom unless Roderick went and put stool into bed or something. <laughs> so you could, you, so you could just like, you and Roderick have this like little shift of, of place uh, so that stool that you don't try to move stool and you keep stool in a comfortable position. <laughs> While you're doing your watches, I don't know how you want to do that. He's like, he's all yours, man. <laughs> you can leave him here. Don't worry. I'll keep watch over him. And I walk over, I guess, and pat the stool on the head, and then I guess uh, stand at a close enough distance, but pull out my blade and begin to practice my sword swings. In practice, you do. And nothing seems to really happen. It's a very quiet night. A little too quiet. Maybe? 
and Christine. Can I roll? Can I perceive my surroundings? Yeah, you can look around. After noticing it's too quiet. You don't really hear the lake. You listen a little harder and you just realize that you found a spot that's really far from the lake, so the sound of the the shore doesn't isn't as loud. Mm. But again, it's it's just this eerie quiet. Hmm. You can hear the water from here. Yeah, just barely. This is quite peaceful. Just barely. But you have to it you can only hear it when you're really trying to. You have to it's like not move an inch. <laughs> After focusing on that for a second, I uh, regain my composure and continue going back to my overhead swings. 1,003. 1,004. <laughs> can you fight your own shadow thing? Um, actually, I have no control over it whatsoever. My timeline is just unstable in my DNA. It's it's weird. I believe they call that shadow boxing. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly. It would be nice <laughs> if I can spar myself, but you have to think of these apparitions as versions of myself from a different time. So I can't necessarily predict attacks that I'm going to be able to do if I don't know that I've done them to be able to spar against it anyway. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing you have the next shift, Lassiter, because you could have like walked up and asked me that. Yeah. <laughs> so oh. woke yourself up. That, that, this All is right. this is the shift sit, switch. The, cool. yeah. the Lassiter walks up and asks you, ask you that question. Short conversation <laughs> during during the change of guard. So I'm always out here practicing to keep myself prepared because I never know if one of these apparitions will show my own death. Lassiter, give me a perception check quickly. This is this is not your watch perception check. <laughs> <laughs> As you walk up to Lassiter, you trip over something, and you hear in your head, head "ow!" As you accidentally step on stool. You monster. <laughs> you monster, how could you? <laughs> stool. Kill it. Are you okay? <laughs> stool. You, you pick stool. <laughs> it, 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 I'm so fine. Bad. It just it just stings a little. He didn't he didn't hit hard. <laughs> uh, I probably shouldn't have been sleeping here. Let me find a better position. He, like saunters <laughs> over uh to, to Haley and um, Master takes stool. One stool. Let's go get you in the bed. Master takes stool. <laughs> the stool goes over to Haley and curls up next to her. I'm sorry. Stool, stool's fine. <laughs> She's like, it's like, ow. <laughs> Careful. Stool's a forgiving, giving mushroom. If you had, if you had not rolled. <laughs> He's like, I gotta log on quick. I gotta take care of my PC. <laughs> Someone needs to die. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> that, that happened. Oh, that's that 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 was funny. <laughs> it's just the worst things happen to Lassiter. Actually. Correction, the worst things happen to Spud. <laughs> First, he asked for a dog. He got dog. Meat. <laughs> next, next, in this this case, he, first, he, he sees this really crazy deep gnome who looks like he probably could use some sort of help. Help, and is laughing hysterically, is missing part of his arm, and does not look in very good shape, who's walking directly toward, toward, towards the lake water that will probably obviously <laughs> drown himself because he's probably obviously insane and lets him drown. 
And then he's he accidentally steps on stool. <laughs> this, All this while being me. an addict. <laughs> I'm I'm not an addict right now. Well, no. You still, oh, okay. no, you're still no. Am, no. Just... You're still an addict. You don't know. You you it's... don't know. You just feel fine. Yeah. Just, What's an addict? No Always an addict. Or, no aches or pains or cravings or anything. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, Stool. Um, yeah. Stool's uh, like, it's, it's, it, it's, it's okay. I couldn't be sleeping out in the open like this. I'm going to find another place and he curls up next to Haley. All right. I'll start my watch. All right. Roll me, roll me a perception check. Hopefully better than a one. Oh. Oh. There you go. All right. By the way, I, I I will let you know that you're you guys are rolling perception check. I'm rolling something else in the background. Oh, I figured. <laughs> so, and and uh, your watch goes by in an eerily quiet night. Uh, oh, silent night as were. I'm, uh, I'm gonna just randomly sometimes uh make that popping sound like just to make it from my sound. tit, and I'm like, shut up, Lassiter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after you make the popping sound, about a minute later, you hear. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm I'm gonna make it again. One minute later, you're here. <laughs> I, I'm gonna do it again, but like two times in the in same second. About a minute later. <laughs> uh, that's not good. Uh, can I incite this? Yeah, sure. Nineteen. Oh, that's a really long echo. <laughs> you would think the echo would come back faster, but that took a long time. I don't trust this. Uh, I'll just uh, really hope that time just goes by as fast as it can, and. Uh, Wake up, uh, Sty Styra, when I can. Styra for the last shift. Is it my turn already? Yes, it is. Uh, <laughs> try not to make any popping sounds. Popping sounds? Yeah, don't don't question it. Just don't try to do it. Oh, well, now I feel like I have to question it. Well, uh, well, I guess. It would be reasonable to tell you about it. Uh, Every time I make a popping sound with my mouth, um, a minute later, I hear it in the distance. I see. Oh, uh, uh, I'm going to try it again. I'm, I'll just make the sound. Are you? Are you? Did you go back to the entrance, or are you in? Yeah, okay. um, I'm like showing her. Okay. So he makes popping poppy sound with his mouth. Sixty seconds later. Ah, well. Um, why don't you get some rest then? I'll just uh, keep a lookout. Yeah, yeah. Do that. Um. And I'll, I'll cautiously go back to sleep. All right. That will roll me a... I, I'm sleeping next to Ront, by the way. Okay. Ront doesn't even notice. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm right. I'm he's, snoring. He, he's, he's, he, he's snoring. It's not like a... a <laughs> it's just... 
<sighs> you know, there's kind of like a low rumble. It's pretty good. Good ones. Yes. Watch punit uh, passes unabated. I don't know anything out of the ordinary. It's eerily quiet. You do catch out of stop in the distance. A slight lap of water against the shore of the dark lake. Very quiet. Hmm. She can't help herself. She gets bored in the middle of her watch. Starts popping. <laughs> Same thing happens. Well, what do you know? There's a lot of pops. There's a lot more pops than you did. Uh, which direction is it coming from? Everywhere. It seems it from outside the cave. You can't quite pinpoint. Like you, you hear, you do kind of get some directions, but they're never in the same place. Can you roll me a wisdom saving throw? No. <laughs> no one. I don't want to. Alright. Uh, what's your uh, sanity level? I think I was hit with something once. Okay. Go ahead and uh, roll me a d100, please. Yay. Uh the oh, face cool. you never want to see a... all right <laughs> long term madness everybody wakes up you have got to be doing these things letters yeah it's just hint <laughs> nope, was... Syra looks looks perfectly fine to you. Out of character. I feel like I have a hand in this. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> if I didn't tell you about the popping sound. Maybe. <laughs> uh, by the way, if anybody uh, attempts to talk to Syra, she tries to talk to you, but she just nothing comes out. Uh, how was watch, Syra? Syra moves her lips to let you know, and nothing happens. It gives you the the link from Zelda conversation. Well, uh. Just ellipses. Good job. Uh, can can I read her lips? Have observant. Oh yeah. What are, what are you trying to say, Sarah? <laughs> uh, there was a lot more popping than usual. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. So, okay. so uh, you, she says it. She she says it. Reading her lips, you, you know what she says, but there was no sound. Uh, well, I'm I'm sure the popping sound didn't uh, affect your ability to talk. I feel like look at you confused. Like, what do you mean? You 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 can't even hear yourself. So you know oh, that you yeah. can't speak, that you're not, like, no sound is coming out of your mouth even though you're trying to. Your lips, your mouth is moving as if you are speaking, just no sound comes out. 
So the character she's loses out the and... ability to speak. <laughs> she's pulling a, a, an aerial from Little Mermaid. By the way, your sanity score is now two. Okay. Uh, and just to let you know, this lasts for 100 hours. <laughs> also to let you know, if you have any spells that you cast that require a verbal component, you cannot cast them. Great. During this 100 hours. Uh, for the next at least what, uh, four, four and, and a half days? days? Um, <clears throat> out of curiosity, I'm just going to make the popping sound where we are. A minute later. Okay, I close my ears and just bring Thyra uh, back with uh, with me to the others, and uh, explain to them, "Hey guys, uh, so there's something wrong. Thyra can't speak. Um, last night we made some sounds and." That oh, did you sound. Now? Yes. Oh, <laughs> not those type of sounds. <laughs> well, hey, to each their own. If that's what you want to do, that's what you like. Y'all are consenting adults. Okay, important, important stuff. <laughs> um, so yeah, Sarah can't speak. Um, there were weird sounds, um, coming from. Was it inside or outside of the cave? Oh, it, was, it seemed to you originally, it just seemed like it was just a really long echo from outside the cave. Okay, I, I turn to Syrah. Where <coughs> uh, could you tell where the sound was coming from? Don't worry, I can read your lips. I bet you can, dear. I bet you can. <laughs> You give you like a little punch in the arms. <laughs> Who me? Mm-hmm. You feel a little zap. <laughs> I will green flame blade you. <laughs> I, I don't have a shirt. Um, on. I don't think you can green flame blame <laughs> green flame blade. I them. can. It, oh, it doesn't require the material. Oh. It, requir uh, it requires okay. a weapon. It's the material component, by the way. <laughs> And your fist mm -hmm. does not count as the weapon. Jelly my dagger now. <laughs> um, yeah, so she'll 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 point to the direction where she heard the sounds from. Inside, she, or outside. She, is, is, is Sarah will walk to to the entrance and like just like point in many different directions. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, I'm not sure if we're safe or not. Um, oh, this is interesting. So, minor illusion is semantic and material. So, out of oh, curiosity. Hey. Um, yeah. No, no, no. You can, That works. Because you, you can make like a... a, a, a it's a minor illusion. Like silver piece. I, I Even think... Though it's, it has to be a weapon it's worth a... one silver piece. No, we're talking about minor illusion. Oh. Uh, it says you can on. create a sound at volume. It can be your voice, someone else's voice, a lion's roar, blah, 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 blah. So, technically. Oh. So, she's there. She doesn't move her mouth. She just does some, some wiggly things, and you hear her voice. She does some wiggly she makes that. She makes I that motion that. with, like, your hand when you're trying to, like, talk with your hand. Finally, <laughs> Yeah. yeah, she's doing. Thing. Look, this is not how I really wanted it to happen. <laughs> somehow, look, do you really think I wanted it to happen? She pulls out her quill and draws little eyes on her hand and talks to her <laughs> like that. <laughs> Best use of minor illusion. <laughs> uh, okay. 
<laughs> for the next personal. for the next three and a half day or three or four days, she just <laughs> just put her hand. Uh, I hate that. It also requires an action, I believe. So it does. If anything, yeah. you can't you can't use it, necessarily use it in battle. <laughs> yeah. Sarah, uh, other than the fact that you can't speak, are you okay? Do you feel okay? <laughs> Again, with her hand. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, what what about everyone else? Are y'all okay? Can't everyone else speak? Well, I I was kind of just ri- giving like jostling your ribs just a moment ago. So yeah, I can speak. <laughs> Uh, stool just kind of is a thumbs up. Runt, runt, grunts. She sure says, "I, I am perfectly fine, my friend." Uh, uh, Sarah is like, "Yeah, hey, we're never like grows that way." So, you need to go this way, right? Only eleven forty. Uh says I am okay. Thank you. It's only eleven forty. Okay. Well Yeah. That was another twenty minutes. People are keep on dying. Uh going away without a trace, and now we have someone that can't talk for some reason. This place is stupid. I want to go home. (laughs) (laughs) Ron says, you and me both. I'll buy you a beer when we get back to the surface. (laughs) Good idea. I could use one of those. All right. Back to a normal pace. Going to do another normal pace. Yes. All right. Let's see what type of place you're at. Uh, yeah. Wherever you are, you you have to. You're still skirting along the the dark, like know where it is and things. But you do have to go into some caves in order to navigate it without having to basically swim. Um, stool, you don't think would be very good at swimming, so it's probably a bad idea. And you don't know what's in the dark lake. So, bad idea. But you're able to go through some ca- caves, but there's no light except for the sources that you have with you. Uh, obviously, Lasseter, I think you have light, don't you? People have the cantrip light. I might have that prepared. Yes, I do. So there we go. So you do have sources of light, even without having to worry about like torches or anything like that. Maybe you put it on Haley's axe. Uh, yeah. Hey, I believe uh, Haley does not have dark vision, right? Does she? No, no, she does not. Oh. And when you were trying to say axe, it sounded like you're about to say something else. Yeah, it's possible. <laughs> I'm like my intent was, was axe. Fine? Axe. <laughs> like um consent <laughs> wrong type of or weapon <laughs> way of saying it. um yeah I'll, I'll just ask her where she wants it and cast it she just she just holds out her weapon yeah, I will crazy yeah. <laughs> I realize how it sounded by I I sat here and thought how can I make this sound not sexual and I couldn't think of anything so I just went on and said, said it. where do you want it it says on my on, what object <laughs> on my weapon cast light on at <laughs> least not that type of woman I'm pretty sure <laughs> That she, that she would say. Discord, by the way. Besides the fact that she would like to have it in front of her. 
<laughs> no, that's that's a completely different picture. <laughs> Priscilla just by, like I see those like my mom just moisturize me. It looks more like that. <laughs> All right. And off we go at a normal pace. Uh, probably want to do a normal pace to see if we can spend some time to uh, probably to allow your friend to effort madness or not. Um, yes. Uh, Sarah had a uh, positive wisdom check in sanity and lost. And right now, for 100 hours, she can't talk. Uh, but she's using minor illusions to talk because you can create your own voice using minor illusions. So it's like she's doing. And it doesn't have a verbal component. <laughs> uh, did we already do the roll? All thing? right. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, let's see. Gage, I think that the last one's so we're back to Roderick. Give me a D20. 20. Cool. Anything you'd like to do today? Fight something. Yeah. All right. Roll me a D6. Oh. Roll me a d20. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Perfect. I like this one. I think this one will do. Uh, roll me a d10. Roll me a d6. All right. So you make to a, through a tunnel where you're marching to a breast. <laughs> the tunnel. Secret tunnel. We have to go to our, our caves. There's something here, and then I go secret tunnel. Secret, secret tunnel. tunnel. <laughs> I'm just gonna put in your center randomly here. I'm trying to find the good. You know, canonically, um, Avatar: The Last Airbender show is in Marvel universe. Yeah. Com yeah. There's a comic strip scene mm. where in uh, where Miles Morales and uh, some of the like New Avengers are sitting around watching. Uh, TV, and you see the little bubble secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. <laughs> that, that's that's called a reference. So, right. call it what? It's just called a reference. Uh, but they were watching Avatar, so Avatar is in Marvel universe. Was it? Okay, cool. As you turn the corner, you uh, hear a uh, little moaning and 
scraping against some walls, you see what looks to be six Durgar. What do you do? They don't seem to oh. have noticed you. Are we going off of what we can see on the map? Yeah. Okay, so Here. I don't see them yet. No, oh, actually, it, it, it's it's lighter. Let me change the, the lighting. Because there We're is some dim light. Um, traveling to Gracklesoo. Um, Are we in the right direction? Going in the right direction? You know what? I'm going to just turn this off for now. Here we go. May have to refresh. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. There we are. I believe you should see everything now. Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, they t turn around and... Um, yeah. Where's that? Here we go. I think actually I might have a better hand at this. Nope, that's not it. Yeah, they're uh four yard. They're, they're the people of Grackle Stoog. You know they don't give a rather they uh, a really good they don't really have a good image of this um these duergar look really off uh it looks like they have some fuzzy mold growing over part of their face and their heads they have this like little mushrooms popping up out of their neck and uh, along their arms and just they have this vacant look in their eyes and they just go uh, and they are definitely coming to attack the last of us all over again they bring up their war picks and they're ready for battle so that means i'm just going to refresh them it is time for some initiative actually we will hold that thought because it is close to end time, so I think this would be a good place to start next session. A little battle. So if you want to roll initiative for now, and uh, we will get into battle next so, week. Sounds like a plan, man. That's the thing. Do, 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 do. Um, um, more than likely, I'll have to leave early. Oh, okay. Um, my mom's flight comes in at 11 that night. Oh, so do we want to do a skip week just to see if we like, can get like, everybody like, in? The, like, I I don't have to leave till like ten thirty. So, so it'd be like, like a couple hours. Yeah, after. we can get at least a good two hours in. Sure, I have to... We it, next week might just be a battle. <laughs> yeah, so let's just say like we at least can do this battle, but I might have to leave. Might have to leave after that. Or you can just, you know, leave your mom at the airport. Good thing you're far away. Otherwise, I'd punch you. <laughs> There's Uber. No. You could, however, <laughs> at least take the Discord call with you on the drive and participate in the roleplay stuff hands-free. You joke, but I've done that before. <laughs> Maybe Haley. Yeah, no, I have too. Maybe Haley would be able to 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 join us. I don't know, <laughs> unless you're driving yourself. Anyways, uh, <laughs> is, it, is it Thursday yet? Can I? Bye, guys. Oh, I'm already told the hubby. I said hi.